Joe from SurvivalTheWild.us here. I finally got the internet back so I can start making videos again. Um, so first, as promised, I want to... Uh, a couple people asked me about my, my little two-sided chuck here. Um, <clears throat> it's not the weight. It doesn't... It's made out of maple. Uh, dried maple, just cut, cut, and then spliced down the middle. Um, split open and carved. I'm going to cut it open in a second so you can see it, but um, it's not the weight. I didn't make it for a, a weight. Um, what you get out of it for weight um, probably is, is offset anyways by the um, the momentum of it. Every time it swings because of that thing, when, you sw when it goes this way, your hands have to counteract it. So I believe that it, it, you know, whatever little weight differences it makes um, you know are, are irrelevant um, really it was it was it's a invention to fit the function in that I didn't um, I was trying so many different combinations of fireboards and bits um, that I needed something I could swap out very quickly uh, also I, didn't, I was wasting too much of my um, pieces like say this is cattail right it's nice and long Right? <clears throat> but once it gets down to here, you know, you can't really use it anymore. But if you're just using little bits this big, well this makes a whole bunch more bits and I can I can keep going. So that means I don't have to go out in the woods and you know cut more cattail down all the time. I can not waste my materials and then the handle can be anything. Like you know, little piece of I don't know, alder I think that is. Um, you know, chestnut handle I had before, I cut it up a little bit now. Um, but I, I will say, over doing this, I do prefer the mullion handle. Uh, it's, it's a little more squarish, not so round as the cattail and some of the other ones. Um, and it just seems to get a really good roll and tons of friction going down. I don't slip on it. I don't feel like I lose any energy um, with the mullion. So, um, as for this, just show how, show how it works. Um, I didn't see this anywhere, like I had said. I didn't see this anywhere. It, it was an idea of my own. Um, but what I saw that was similar to it and kind of used that as a, a basis, I guess, you know, for this was the um, using the, the milkweed stalks. Since they're kind of square, um, I saw there was one guy on one of the websites, man, I can't think of it right now. I'd give him credit if I could. Um, he would he would you know have his little bits that he carried and then he could just grab a um, a milkweed stock and square his bits you know like I do and then put it in there because it's naturally square and it seemed to work anyways I kind of thought the same thing well hey why don't I just do this real quick so it's just twine and um, wrapped around it next time I put this together I'll use natural cordage that I make. And it's real simple. You just, so you cut, cut, split it right down the middle. Maple splits really easily. Um, and all I do is take the saw and go, you know, like that to a point, like that to a point, and then just go across it like that and notch it out so that each side, when it comes together, is square, like that. Same thing on both sides. That's it. Or we can you can swap out bits. The handle it doesn't even matter where it is. The handle can be a piece of maple or something. You know, just a, a nice uh, straight shoot, straight shoot you can find. Um, little pine sprouts, um, little pine uh, sprouts are nice. That you know when they're like four feet tall. Um, you know if you take off all the branches, it's pretty straight. And then you know I'll just to do a bit. I mean it's really simple it takes two seconds you know whatever you want to do because I got almost everything already made into this I'll do the back side of this you know basically you just go down like that angle it do a little bit more towards the tip like that a little bit more towards the tip like that like that 
and you can try it out and put it back in. You know, you, you carve it a couple times, but you can get it really good. And uh, and that's it. And then when that goes in, it's going to slide in and lock. That's it. Well, when it's twined, it's just going to lock. And I usually you know, bang them down when it's when it's made. Um, and I did. You can apply the same concept um, to a bow drill. Um, here's one where I did the same thing, except this is made for a bow drill. So this is oak, a nice hardwood, um, rounded on, you know, rounded on top, squared here, so that the rope grabs it better. Squared, you know, like when you do um, when they make the make it out of bone, it's squared. Um, and then the same concept, I just split it, cut in with the saw here, uh, and then I put this in like that. Bang it. And that's it. Um, you know, sometimes when doing this, you gotta put a little, a little shim like that, you know, or something, so it doesn't, so it doesn't wobble. But you know, that's fine. And this is what I want to say about this. When you're doing hand drill, you have to have the absolute best materials, the best fire starting materials. What's that? You know, well, the best fireboards, you know, incense, cedar, and stuff like that, if you can get them, yucca, if you can get them, um, you know, mullein, cattail. But you don't usually bow drill with mullein or cattail as your spindle. So, you have to use harder woods, poplar, stuff like that. Well, if you do this, if you do something like this, which you can, you can get the power of a bow drill with the materials of like what you would use for a hand drill. So optimal materials, optimal power, you know, made, you know, made very well, something that you can reuse and, and carry with you. You know, I could just carry this thing, you know, carry my, carry my hand drill and don't carry anything else. Find handles, find bits, and you know, just pop them in. Nice and easy. Um, anyways, I just wanted to explain that. Uh, since a couple people had, had, had asked about them. And uh, that's about it for that one. Glad to be back. Have a great day. Have a good one.